Hi folks, this is his dad, and in front of me I have the 19-inch Kyber Bowie. Now, there might be a different way to pronounce that, but that's how my brain says it. It has K-H-Y-B-E-R Bowie. And I got this out of Cisco.com because I have a membership with them. And uh, when you uh, have a membership with them, you get, you get some pretty darn good deals. And I believe this was about $21, $22. Uh, and it it is a, a good looking knife. Uh, now I want to review it for you because when you see it, you you start thinking, "Wow, that looks like a butcher's knife." But I wanted to uh, kind of go into that just a second. So let's let's unsheath it real quick. The sheath is beautiful. Um, it's kind of impractical. I think it's that stamped pressed leather leather type uh, material uh, with. Sewn, sewn together after being glued with leather tassel. Um, yeah, I, I'd say this is about $5, $6, you know, cost from the company to to me. Uh, it's stamped Pakistan right here. Yeah, it says it in there. It's upside down, but it says Pakistan for all that you can see. Now, this knife, like I said, when you see it, you, you automatically start thinking to yourself, that looks like it belongs in a kitchen or a sword or some type of Spanish uh, Renaissance film. And I'll tell you, it does feel that way. Or maybe an Arabic uh, Ottoman Empire, uh, Turkish Empire type thing. But, you know, let's, let's remember that it came out of Pakistan. And I want to get to the point. Bowie knives, traditionally speaking were some abridgment to a butcher's knife. And it's in the text. Uh, it tells you that if you go back in there, um, that it looked like it was a butcher's knife or a knife that would be used by somebody to cut, cutting meat. Um, and look, you know, this is what it is. It's a beautiful knife in the hand. It feels great. It has no hot spots. Um, they tried to fill it with putty to the best of their ability. They sanded it down really nicely in the handle. Uh, they left a good finish for me. Um, the rivets are, are perfect. Uh, the workmanship, it's phenomenal for the price I paid. Under $30. So you say to yourself, you know, would you do it again? Yeah, but I have no, no uh, functional need for a knife like this. Uh, I got it solely because it said 19 inches. It looked phenomenal. It looked like a chef's knife, almost like a bread knife or some type of something like that. And I wanted to see what it looked like in person. Uh, I had my doubts, but this is that. It's that, exactly. Whatever you see on the screen, that's what you get. Um, that's what they gave me. And as I've said in my other videos, they have no idea who I am. I don't go around telling anyone that I'm gonna review it. I don't ask for any discounts. I don't ask for anything. That way I can go into the market the same way you did and take a look at this and say, what do you think you're gonna get if you paid that, that amount of money? And then they're gonna send it to you? That's ridiculous. I mean, the price you paid. This is the only spot in the entire knife where I said they could have filled that in a little bit or not. And I don't care if they did or don't. Um, but that's it. That's the only spot in the entire knife. Sharp, it could take a, it could take a sharpening. Um, it could take some flex to it because of its length, 19 inches overall, black handle. It doesn't say if it's horn uh, or uh, whatever. It doesn't even say if it's wood. So I'm gonna think composite. And uh, this doesn't say leather anywhere, and it doesn't feel like leather. It feels like a press. But what do you get, folks, for that, you know? And um, for me, I'm gonna gladly either give this on as a gift one day, put it somewhere where it looks pretty or uh, put it in a Tupperware box and put a lid on it and forget it forever. I don't know. But if you're into this kind of thing and you believe in your mind that you've just got to have it, but you didn't want to pull the trigger, pull the trigger, folks. Pull it. Yep. Bang, bang. Take it all day long for the price that you're going to pay and get that membership. I did. I buy about 100 knives at a time from them. And when I do that, um, I could pay as little as $3.50 for some of the knives that I buy. And that's sent to me. And it usually takes about a week and a half to get them. So 
if I have something coming up or I have a knife sale or a farmer's market where I need, you know, a couple dozen knives of this or that, uh, Cisco. That is S-Z-C-O. Okay, folks, for those who know, Cisco Supplies, Inc. All right. Anyway, this is Dad saying I love you. Hit that like and subscribe. And if you like these videos, um, you know, let let people know. The more uh, the more exposure I get, uh, the more uh, the closer I get to getting paid, folks. And once I get paid, I can actually get somebody to edit videos to teach me how to make better videos. Uh, buy quality knives. Um, even these, I love these knives. So uh, I take that back. But anyway, folks, um, maybe you like Gil Hibben knives or certain things like that. Um, once I start getting paid, I could go into that. So please do your best to always like and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, like those videos, put a comment in there. Say his dad, we love your hands. You're so awesome. Anyway, thank you folks. Have a great day. Bye-bye.